This is a cry for vengeance. Here in southern Lebanon, the Lebanese militant group Hezbollah is burying two men among the three who died fighting Israel yesterday. There are fears here that Hezbollah will launch a full-scale war with Israel, opening a second front in the fighting and internationalizing an already horrific war. The cross-border violence here escalated dramatically over the weekend. A day after Hamas's brazen attack on Israel, Hezbollah fired missiles on disputed territory along Israel's northern border, calling it solidarity with Hamas. Israel fired back with airstrikes and artillery. Six fighters were killed, including a senior Israeli general. The tit-for-tat combat sparked fires in the hills along the border and rage in southern Lebanon. The anger here is palpable, but is it enough to push Hezbollah into the war and the region into an even deeper crisis? Whether that happens may be up to yet a third nation, Iran. Like Hamas, Iran is Hezbollah's patron state. But leaders here in southern Lebanon tell us the decision to enter the war will be entirely up to Hezbollah's revered leader, Hassan Nasrallah. Hassan Nasrallah who... I asked this local imam if Nasrallah was waiting for the go-ahead from Tehran. He said, not at all. Nasrallah doesn't wait for a signal from anyone. But when I asked if the Lebanese people feared a war, he said no. Telling me Lebanon has hundreds, even thousands of martyrs prepared to sacrifice themselves against Israel. That's why on the other side of the border in Israel, there's anxiety. This isn't the best feeling in the world, said this Israeli. We've experienced rockets here. We've been through a lot, but this time we feel there will be chaos. Many still remember the last time Israel and Hezbollah waged a full-scale war in 2006. That month of fighting killed nearly 1,500 Lebanese people, most of them civilians. And it destroyed huge swaths of southern Lebanon. But for now, the fighting here is still mostly contained even as Israel rushes more troops toward Lebanon's border. As I speak to you now, there are no incidents at the northern border, but we're ready, in high readiness, said this IDF spokesman. If Hezbollah does throw itself into war, it'll bring to bear weapons and training that could dwarf even Hamas's capabilities and heap even more bloodshed in a region that's already bleeding. Matt Bradley joins us tonight from Tyre, Lebanon, near that border with Israel. Matt, when it comes to Lebanon and Israel, are there indications this will escalate? I know President Biden made it clear he doesn't want anyone to take advantage of the situations, what he said today at the White House, but it's unclear if anyone in the Middle East is listening. Yeah, I mean, it's a really good question, Tom, and an uncomfortable one for Iran and Hezbollah. Basically, if Israel goes into the Gaza Strip and completely destroys Hamas and its military infrastructure, that's when they're going to have to make this uncomfortable decision. Either they weigh in at a great cost and to great damage for the Lebanese public, who had been kind of supporting them, or they sit by and watch as one of Iran's most formidable anti-Israeli allies in the region is completely dismembered. Tom? Matt Bradley for us. Matt, thank you for that. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.